Good morning, sir. Hello. Greetings. You look dashing today. Hi, I'm Julian Bass. Today is Tech Day. Tech Day 2. Tech Day... Uh, deuce. Dose? Today, I'm going to be getting to a video that is long overdue. Now, I'm always asked, Julian, you know, what programs do you use? After Effects. We all know that. What kind of cameras and stuff do you use my phone? One of the more intriguing questions is, what kind of hardware do you use? Which is going to be the subject of this video. I just moved, so it's been a bit hectic here today. I finally got my computer, the other computer, and the monitors. But upon opening one of them, uh... This right here is the subject of today's video. The good old Powerpuff Girl. The one and only Puget Systems computer. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, all right, it's a computer. It's a black box. It's nothing special, but no, it is very special, okay? Because every video up until, I think, the first A-Train video was done on a 2011 Mac. Those videos were done on this really old computer and it was crashing all the time and it was horrible. One of the better examples of how awesome this computer is and really just a testament to all the praise I can give it is the deep fake in the Will Smith video. So, I'm gonna do a bit of a little blitz tutorial here and talk to you about how this video was made real quick. You guys loved the video and I felt like this is necessary also to help you understand like what really this computer's handling. First effect, my head coming off. Pretty easy, I just stand there and I am just like, you know, acting like my head's off and I'm looking down even though my head's on, usually. But then my head pops off, uh, there's a lens flare there so it's handling optical flares from video copilot. And then there's this little smoke poof here. So separately in a different After Effects project, I used trap code elements from this guy, uh, CG Visuals. He made these awesome trap code particular like fire, air, uh, like kind of, kind of Avatar The Last Airbender elements with trap code particulars fluid system. That's what I used to create the smoke here. It basically to use the air, um, air manipulation project and sort of just made the smoke kind of appear and then change, change the hue, of course. In that, I created um, a white version of that to be just an alpha, and I used that as a layer emitter for uh, particles so that they can go along with the smoke. Uh, so yeah, the clones is a big question that everybody was asking. I was seeing comments about it. Oh yeah, it's some great green screen work. Nada. What do you think this is, Hollywood? Now, I was of course making this video before Rotor Brush 2, um, came out. It's so crazy like the timeline of this video. The tail end of the video, I was able like when I was finishing up the editing and finally got the deepfake done, I was able to use Rotor Brush too. But the first part of this is just the Rotor Brush. So these first clones here that pass in front of me, it's just normal Rotor Brush. I went frame by frame to do it because I was like, I'm doing a deepfake. I can go frame by frame. I have plenty of time. Uh, same thing for this guy. This one was done with Rotor Brush too. You can see there's a little bit of um, of space here. I know it's so minor. Like, <laughs> you'll never see this in motion, but um, that's the stuff that I notice, you know, like when you play this stuff back frame by frame, that's what you see. Uh, and then, of course, it goes into that little animated bit, um, which actually isn't in this project. I did it in the next project, which is just tracing myself out um, to a white outline and using Red Giant's optical glow to make it pop. But then, of course, the cherry on top is the deep fake. The deep fake of Will Smith, which does look a little wonky. I had some really low res images of Will Smith from interviews, so it wasn't like, you know, the highest quality. Of course, shooting this video in 4K and using like 720p face clips might not work, but uh, you know, you add some grain and you can kind of make it, yeah, you kind of make it match a little bit there uh, and sharpen it up. But yeah, deep faking is a severely long process. Like it is severely, Difficult and and, and gut wrenching. It's saddening and a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. But I started the deep fake without this computer on this 2019 Mac, brand spanking new. I was like, all right, I got a new Mac. You know, I I, I can you know run Final Cut better. I can do what I need to do. And let me try a deep fake for the first time. I you know got all this stuff. I watched some tutorials and stuff. I had to download you know, do like partitions, use bootcamp to get windows onto the Mac, and then I'd use uh, Deep Face Lab and uh, loaded it in. And it took five months to 
to get to 150,000 iterations. 150,000 iterations in five months. But then, you know, I, I, I never forgot the reason why I got this because I told them, you know, hey, I'm trying to do a deep fake. Uh, it's been really hard with this computer. That was like three months in already. Still just running this in the background like every day. They were like, yeah, we'll build a custom computer based on what you do. So I'm a videographer, editor, VFX artist, whatever you want to call me. This computer is built for that. Uh, so this isn't like a, a model or a series of computers that you know you could just like buy anywhere. You you get to really design this um, custom to your liking. I, I think it's just really cool to know like how much they like go in depth with this stuff. Um, especially for people who are like used to building their own computers. People who do that are probably very particular about the parts and know everything about it and uh, probably wouldn't trust anyone else to build a computer for them. Uh, but these guys, you can trust them. They gave me like thermal heat maps of like the heat testing for the cooling system. Like it's, it's really involved. Like they give a honk and I really appreciate that. And, and it was able to really like change my workflow. I had so much work coming in, brand deals and stuff from this like, you know, just kind of off the back of that tweet. I'm not going to be able to do this on this Mac here. This is impossible. Uh, it'll die. It'll explode. And then I remember, oh crap, I have a deep fake to complete. And I'm like, you know what, let me set it up on this computer uh, while this one, you know, we're like month five on this one. You know, it's just nearing the end. This thing took a five month job from this in two days. And I'm sitting here spending five months. Needless to say, I was very, very surprised and happy that I could get this video out and happy that Will Smith liked it. But that's really, that's the gist of this video. Um, I wanted to get that out. I needed to talk about Puget Systems and, and really get like sort of the beginning of this vlog started off in a good way. So. One more thing, this isn't a sponsored video, and these are my honest and personal opinions. To learn more and check out Puget Systems, find the link in the description.